all the larger organisms. The next question to ask though is, why are cells so small? Why isn't a big animal, like a human, why aren't we just made of one cell? Why are cells so small? Well, the main reason for that is because of nutrients and wastes. So every cell needs to get nutrients from the outside world and the nutrients have to come in through the outside layer of the cell and to get through into the middle they need to travel through the liquid and that takes time. So for a really big cell it takes a long time for nutrients to get into the middle to support the cell. But if an organism is made of lots of small cells then it's, it doesn't take long for nutrients to get in to each cell because nutrients can pass all around the outside of the cells and they can enter from every direction. So nutrients, if we have small cells, it's a lot more, it's a lot easier for nutrients to get in. And on the other hand, when wastes are coming out of the cell, it's exactly the same. So when wastes come out of the cell, it takes a long time for waste to get out of a large cell. They have a long way to travel. But for small cells, waste can easily travel from the middle and then leave the cell. So that's the main reason cells are so small. Nutrients and wastes, um, the time to travel through the cell is less. And another name we give this is, we say that the surface area of small cells is a lot bigger than larger cells. So we can see here, if we look at the surface area, so if we calculate it using maths, the total surface area of all these small cells is a lot bigger than the total surface area of one large cell. And that lets nutrients and wastes easily go in and out. So small cells have a greater surface area.